Joining us now to review some of the headlines of today's newspapers from around the world is Arise News analyst Emmanuel Ifemi. Well, some people are beginning to protest. They say I shouldn't be adding great malabite. <laughs> but I should also add great UIT. I said, well, Ifemi didn't go to UIT. No, no, no. <laughs> Anyway, well, great malabite. Well, there's malambi, there's malambi oil at you. <laughs> malambi. Yes, I remember that Chief Ogunlewe was trying to claim malabite because he stayed in Malambi Hall in UI <laughs> until I educated him properly <laughs> on the origin of malabite. Now let's start the review with this day, Nigeria's newspaper of record, the lead story: A delicate survives as Supreme Court affirms his election. PDP Buhari Chinubu celebrate president urges citizens to team up with governor to develop state our govern with god's fear a delicate promise he says verdict historic it's evident beavers has come to stay atiku declares yes a demola a delicate is governor and that is final as the supreme court has affirmed and um, he will now face the business of governance without distraction. And um, of course, uh, there will be time in between to dance and exercise, as uh, he has also promised that that is his hobby and nothing anybody can do about it. Now, the take away from this case, the importance of beavers, which according to Atiku has come to stay. Well, but the different reports of the Supreme Court judgment uh, seem to be contradictory, but perhaps as Rufai rightly uh, pointed out, one needs to read the full judgment to know the extent of uh, the reliance on the beavers and the back end of uh, the data in the beavers uh, to make some uh, pronouncement on that. Now, we just move over to other stories beside the photograph. Uh, the upper photograph, front page of this, the INEC APC Tinubu may oppose live broadcast of proceedings. And that is the front, the lead story of the Punch newspaper. Presidential poll, tribunal to consider PDP LP's live broadcast request. Broadcasting proceedings live is of national importance. Atiku's legal team, LP, insists uh, justice Shamani promises speedy treatment of demand. APC vows appropriate response. Yes, it is desirable that the proceedings should be transmitted live on television. Nigerians and people across the world will be interested in the proceedings. Of course, as the uh, PDP is arguing, uh, television televising court proceedings is not alien to this court and will enhance public confidence. It is that's the argument there, and of course they went further to say a departure from the rules to allow a regulated televising of the proceedings in this matter is in consonance with the maxim that justice must not only be done but must be seen to be done. That's put taking it literally now, but I'm sure when that statement was first made, it was not in a literal sense. Justice must be obvious, even to a reader of the judgment, not necessarily seeing it on television, at least going by the origin of that maxim. But um, some have also said, yes, it will bring, talk about, it will bring confidence, transparency, but the question is, if the Supreme, if the courts, yes, the appeal court now, the presidential election petition tribunal, refuse the request for live te telecast of uh, the proceedings, will that make the outcome less transparent? I don't think so, but the request is there, and likely the APC, as this day has reported, may just oppose that re request for live telecasts of proceedings. Now, Vanguard newspaper, 10th National Assembly leadership, crisis rock APC over zoning of Senate President Speaker. National Working Committee divided over micro zoning of positions. North Central insists on speakership slots. Northwest seeks Senate presidency. 
18 North Central Senators elect Kik, National Working Committee divided, Oyebanji, Ekiti Senators elect Bak Akpabio. Southeast APC Group hails party decision by Jasmine. Go after all members elect for signatures. Freshers form New Dawn Movement as Wase, Ado Dangoa. Others meet. National Assembly members elect will determine their leaders. PDP, LP. New rules favoring open ballot raises dust. Well, I hope the National Assembly, they are not going to change the rule ahead of that to make it uh, uh, the voting, open balloting. Of course, that will give the, le the leading party, that's the majority party, the APC in this case, an opportunity to monitor its members who don't fall in line. But I don't think uh, they, there should be an attempt to shackle the members because as section, section 50, subsection 1 states that there shall be a Senate president who, be, who will be elected by senators elect on that day of inauguration. Now, the nation newspaper, National Assembly, Akpabio Abbas, rally lawmakers for support. But above the masthead, petrol subsidy pushing Nigeria to bankruptcy. Sanusi warns, Erufai, Buhari declined advice to end payment. Now, of course, the issue of petroleum subsidy still very much... Uh, in the air. What will happen after June 1, we'll see. But Dangote refinery will come on stream by May 22nd. Perhaps that is the music to the ears of one and all. That may just change this narration about subsidy uh, because labor has been saying for subsidy to be removed, we should be able to produce refined products locally. But it doesn't matter whether it comes from the the, f the refineries that are down, or it's coming out of Dangote refinery, as long as petroleum product, product is being refined locally, I think it will bring some relief to this subsidy regime. Now, the Daily Sun newspaper, um, I just look at the story uh, beside the masthead. National Assembly, senators elect push for Kalu Yari ticket. 18 North Central lawmakers elect reject APC's zoning. Now, the New Telegraph newspaper, BVN has 10-year lifespan, says CBN, DMO's website. As concern mounts over BVN expiry date, those issued in 2014 will have to be re-enrolled, revalidated next year. BVN enrollment stood at 57,437,57 million. 431,355 as of March 31, 2023. The figures given by the central bank governor in Mefiele. Now, the Daily Trust newspaper revenue sharing formula, Aero 5, wants 80% for states revert to 1963 constitution. Soludo advocates devolution of powers, less deploy tech to diversify economy, pandemic. Yes, restructuring may just resurface. And I hope the president-elect, when sworn in as president, will pay attention to uh, the issue of restructuring. After all, he's been described as the most progressive president we'll ever have, according to um, uh, Iliad Etta, who just uh, left our program. Mm. So the beginning of progressivism should be talking about restructuring of the country. Now, the foreign newspapers quickly, the Times of London, Britain set to blacklist Russia's Wagner Group. Mercenaries will be given same status as ISIS and Al-Qaeda. Yes, Britain uh, tends to proscribe the Wagner's group and describe them as a terrorist group, and proscription of Wagner Group will make it a criminal offense to belong to the group, attend its meeting, carry its logo around, or give its support. Of course, it will also impose financial sanctions on the group and all its members. Now, the New York Times is reporting, jury finds Trump sexually abused Carol in 1990, also liable for defamation in a civil suit, is ordered to pay $5 million, of course, 
um, Carol, yes, more than one of the more than uh, a dozen women who accused Trump of sexual harassment. And of course, this is the first case uh, that has been tested before a jury. And the verdict is that Trump is liable. Well, very good. Former president the of the US ask. is, is this the end of Trump's bid for the US presidency in 2024? That remains to be seen. But what has been established is that without ruling, uh, by, without verdict by the jury, he will be the first former president to be branded a sexual predator. He was accused of sexual assault and also of uh, defaming uh, the woman involved, uh, the writer, the journalist uh, involved, but not rape in this particular case. But will it damage his political fortunes? Uh, that is the big question. And I saw another story where we're told that with uh, IVF now, a child can have three parents. Uh, you know, <laughs> mitochondrial uh, treatment, they call it. Well, yes. I don't know. Science keeps, uh, <laughs> keeps breaking yes, new ground. A child with, uh, with uh, the DNA is of three parents. A, a child with three parents, <laughs> although the mother and father have 99.8% of the DNA, but there is a third party that supplies the mitochondria. Ruben, why are you interested in that story? <laughs> well, it's an interesting story <laughs> of what science is doing. Thank you very much, Emmanuel Lefeni. <laughs>